I am making this video purely so that I can profit off of these emails to some degree because none of these companies are going to be paying me. <laughs> That's it. That's my intro. Hi, I'm Amanda and you're watching Swell Entertainment and it's been <laughs> an interesting week. I fist fought a capitalist mouse so that I could trash talk Mulan. It's currently apocalypse season in California, which is also known as fire season in California. So everything is orange outside and also in my room. I know there are shadows behind me. This is the best I can do to try and not make this look like Dune. I'm sitting on my floor because it's been a long week and today I had to have a biopsy done on a bump on my nose. I'm probably fine, but I'm really bad with hospitals and doctors and needles. Instead of like legitimately freaking out, I just talked the entire time and then I apologized for being dramatic afterwards because it really wasn't that bad. The doctor was like, no, it's fine. Usually people just like go silent and then we don't realize that something's wrong until they pass out. So it's a good thing you kept talking. Thank you. <laughs> but luckily for me, I have way too much work to do the next couple of days to be anxious about the biopsy results because I have other things to be anxious about. <laughs> but I like making these scam email videos. Some of you really like these videos. Some of you hate them and that's okay. At the end of the day, this is my channel. And though I do require your validation and views to pay my bills, I will still continue to do whatever I want. So really quick, just so no one's freaking out, I'm giving none of these people clout. No one is getting free promotion. I am not saying any company names. I will also not be talking about any specifically ambassadorship emails targeting my Instagram because I have a whole different video planned out. I have a business email. This is meant for business inquiries, including brands, sponsorships, uh, podcast requests, interview requests, things like that. I do my own bitch work. That is all me looking at those emails. I don't have an assistant. Ever since my channel blew up, my email started going around a lot more and my emails started getting a lot of scam emails and I've done two other videos on these now. I am open to doing sponsorships. I have done sponsorships. What's kind of funny is every time I do do a sponsorship, there's always like 30 of you very excited for me, like yay, first sponsorship. And it's like, thank you. It's not my first sponsorship. I have worked with about four companies before for sponsorships, none of whom are sponsoring this video. So that's all I'll be saying about that. But I am open to doing sponsorships. My face moves way too much for this type of band-aid. It's not gonna stay on my nose. I promise I'm not getting a nose job this week. I'll let you guys know if I decide to do that. My, I don't have a deviated septum. I can't claim that. It'll literally be because my nose like curves down and I don't like that. I'm not gonna be talking about just out and out scam sponsorships. I'm also going to be talking about some shady business offers from legitimate companies that have reached out to me. Again, I'm not gonna be sharing any company names, but I'm gonna be sharing some of the wording in these emails that I want you, if you are a creator or anyone really watching this, to be aware of because some of it's shitty. <laughs> One day I will make a video about all the phone calls I took from managers and MCNs when my channel first blew up because nearly all of them assumed I had no idea what I was talking about and Therefore, they could kind of get me to agree to a shitty deal and lock into a two-year contract because they saw possible growth. All of them were incredibly wrong and I made that abundantly clear, but it's not something that is uncommon in this industry, which is people like me or anyone for that matter who are young, who suddenly have a platform, who suddenly have money, people who suddenly have an ability to profit off of their face, their personality, their audience. There are people who see that as an opportunity to fund you over and it's important to make sure that you know your worth. Companies, if your first email to me involves a WhatsApp number and the words, uh, we would love to continue this conversation over WhatsApp, that is a huge red flag. I will not communicate with you over WhatsApp whatsoever, especially not if you mention it in the first email, like, hey, we'd like to do this through WhatsApp and WhatsApp as a communication platform in this industry is not inherently bad. I have had plenty of people that I have worked with who are not located in the US and it's just easier for us to communicate over WhatsApp than over email. But that is after we've already established a dialogue over email and we've had a couple of back and forth and I have confirmed they are in fact a real person and they're not trying to steal money or data from me. <laughs> Another red flag of a scam email slash I don't trust you whatsoever because you didn't do the barest amount of research um, is when you say swell entertainment, especially if swell entertainment is in a different font. I say, hi, I'm Amanda within the first minute of every single video. If you can at least put Amanda in this, then I'm assuming that you didn't even try. The most common scam email opportunities that I get for sponsorships are games, VPNs, 
video editors and music companies. This one is from Blank Advertising Manager. I am the PR manager of Blank. We want to know if we can order advertise on your channel. We plan to order a pre-roll of our software ads from you because your channel has good statistics and your videos are well recorded. Thank you. Of course you will get money for it. If you are ready to collaborate with us, let me know. We look forward to hearing from you. If you're interested in cooperation, please contact me on WhatsApp. No. And then that's right, blank company. <laughs> this one has a photo attached to it that has now been blocked by Gmail. Thanks Gmail for not giving me a virus. Hello, my name is Blank and I'm the advertising manager at Blank Blank. In anticipation of the release of our new game, Blank, we are looking for interesting channels for advertising. We want to offer you cooperation. You need to make a video about our game. It can be a review or an ordinary let's play. It's up to you. We also offer you several copies of the game for drawing between your audience or personal use. If you are interested in our proposal, please answer the letter and name the cost of the video or send me your WhatsApp, Telegram for free their discussion. Now this is where it gets kind of tricky because the game that they are talking about is a legitimate game. I'm not going to tell you what the name is again because I'm not sure if this is actually associated with them, but I don't think they do sponsorships because I did watch some of the videos on the game talking about the game and none of them are sponsored. Also another red flag is that this is a batched email because there's, let's see, maybe 25 names on here as well. Collaboration proposal. Hello. We are looking for bloggers who are ready to advertise our VPN service. We have studied the statistics of your YouTube channel and believe that your channel is suitable for advertising our VPN service. We need advertising integration on your channel with an overview of the functionality of our application lasting no longer than 60 seconds. We're willing to pay you well. We are interested in quality lighting of our product before it enters the market. We offer our users a unique application with an extensive list of features and about 2000 servers worldwide. Please browse our product check out the information for bloggers after installing the tab additionally for bloggers. And if you are interested in cooperation, please email us at blank, blank, blank. Cheers, blank, blank. There's also a button here that says, learn more about our product, which I will not be clicking, but it's there. I've already worked with NordVPN. There is specifically a timeline in my agreement with them that says I cannot talk about another competing VPN for a certain amount of days. So even then I wouldn't be able to work with this VPN, but I wouldn't work with this VPN anyway because it doesn't tell me the name of the VPN. It just says VPN. Again, I've said this before. If I can't Google your company, I don't trust you. <laughs> We're looking for it to get popular before it goes to market. We want to advertise it. Uh, then you better make sure your proposal email to me is rock solid showing that you are real because I'm not going to trust it if I can't Google your company. Oh, this is another one talking about how I seem like a godly person and therefore they want to give me millions of dollars. Hello, we lie to order ads on your channel. It would be great to discuss the details on WhatsApp. How about we don't? We write about ads on your channel. Almost everyone has computers laptops. Agree that everyone needs internet security. Well, not everyone thinks about it. So we created a VPN that protects you and encrypts all your actions on the internet. Your subscribers and yourself will probably be interested. <laughs> Features of our app. Ultra fast connection. You don't need to sacrifice speed for better security. We do not track, collect, or share confidential data. One click usage is as simple and intuitive as making morning coffee. You will need to make a preview video about our project and insert it into your video. We are willing to pay $750 for one ad. It's a nice deal. I can understand why someone would be like, oh my God, yes, but like the formatting, there's no legitimate name. Hello, I'm the advertising agency Blank and we would love to work with you. I'll tell you in brief about our project. Blank is the most convenient Twitter client for Windows, allowing you to forget about the shortcomings of the site. Features of our product, the most simple and beautiful design with a pleasant to look at. Absolutely smooth work on all Windows. You can feel the real speed. Ability to add multiple accounts on quickly for different windows. This next company has emailed me about eight times and they are a short video sharing platform. We are currently inviting amazing content creators such as yourself to participate in our blank blank opportunity. Here you will be creating a short vertical series. So if you are a podcaster, producer, storyteller, YouTuber, this may be the right fit for you. Starting today, we'll be evaluating applications received for blank blank every week, selected shows, will receive cash as well as production assistance, da, da 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 This one isn't necessarily a scam, it's just shitty, because what they're trying to get me to do specifically is send in an outline or script and a three minute pilot for a show for their platform in vertical format. This is specifically a company that is trying to bank off of Quibi. Why you would wanna do that? 
or why you would reach out to me to do that. I don't know. But what they're doing is shitty because they're not saying, oh, we're gonna pay you to make content for us. No, it's saying, hey, submit your stuff and then maybe we'll select you and maybe we'll pay you which isn't uncommon in legitimate industries, but there's no checks and balances here. There's just creators submitting content and hoping they don't get ripped off. Because if I send an outline or a script and then a three minute pilot to someone, that's more than enough for them to be like, oh, this is like interesting. We'll tell her it's denied and then they go and make their own content based off of my content. Does that make sense? Don't do shit like this or get half of your payment up front and also you need to know specifically what the budget for the project is because you need to base your stuff off of that. This is why I go through these emails. It's not just because I like content. It is because sometimes I do get legitimate emails sent to this email. This is one from a company who saw my Hunt to Killer video. They are referencing my Hunt to Killer video. They have my name in this specifically. They signed it. They stated the fact that they are the owner, which I don't think was necessary. They put a link in here, which I'm not gonna click, but I was able to search this company no problem. It seems like they're trying to get me to do a free or paid review for them. I don't do paid reviews on this channel. If you want to send me something for free, there's a chance I'm going to talk about it, but I'm not going to agree or sign anything if you send me something for free because I have no issue with paying for products to review and now it's a tax write-off. So you're not going to trick me into thinking you're doing me a favor by sending me something for free. Oh, you poor simple YouTuber. We would have no problem sending you our product for free out of the goodness of our hearts because we know that you need content and we would have no problem writing up an agreement saying that you won't say anything negative about our product, but of course you'll be getting it for free. Maybe you can be a part of our affiliate program. I'm not a fucking idiot. Okay, this one is one that I really wanted to talk about. Probably bullshit, but it's bullshit that would involve a influencer in particular. We are running a celebrity giveaway campaign on Instagram with blank blank, who is one of the most engaging social media stars on the planet in a few weeks time, along with his two sisters, blank and blank. It's your chance to grow your Instagram following between 10 to 20,000 new organic real followers and we would love you to be involved. Blank is one of the most well-known Instagram and YouTube stars in the world and there are wrong there, by the way. Our limited space is on the campaign for the early bird price. The pricing is $3,895, but we have an early bird offer on currently for the next three people who book to get this amazing growth campaign for only $895. Suck my dick. You can view more information and book here. If you go to our homepage on our site, you can see previous campaigns and clients, and we are one of the most trusted companies in the industry with a 4.9 out of 5 rating on Trustpilot. This came to my spam email because it looks shady as fuck, but this is a legitimate promotional offer. So I'm assuming what this is, is that it's me buying a spot in this giveaway campaign. I believe they're called circle giveaways. Do you know what those are? Basically what it is, is that one person says, hey, if you wanna win this, go and follow every person that I'm following until you get back to me. And then you're entered. And people basically pay to be part of those spots in that giveaway. And it's a quick way to gain followers on Instagram. They usually don't last. Every time I tried to like win one of those giveaways for a video or something, I, I almost immediately, once the giveaway was done, went and unfollowed every single person. They will get you some growth, but it's nothing consistent. So I will not be doing a video on it because it's bullshit. I'd rather just give you guys my Instagram and tell you I try too hard and see if you guys take the bait. This one's incredibly long, so I'm not going to read it. All you need to know is the red flag here. Good video, good payment. No, that's not how it works. We agree on a price beforehand you send me the parameters of what you want, and then I give it to them two to three days before the video is supposed to go live. They get one or two revisions, or they say, this is perfect, it's good to post, and then we go from there. But there is an agreement in place. It's not, I make my video, and then if you like it or not, you decide what you're going to pay me. That's not how this works. I am not making talking about anything until both parties have signed on that line, because you gotta protect yourself. Also the brand, it's protection for the brand as well. I really enjoy your content and thought I'd reach out because we have a product that I strongly believe you're your audience would appreciate. We'd love to invite you to join our affiliate program where we send you a free blank. The only thing we ask for in return is an honest video review and a mention on your social media channels. This is just a legitimate offer that I think they get more out of than I do. They're asking for an honest video review in exchange for being a part of the affiliate program and getting a free box. No, because that's now an incentive for me to stay positive and be not truthful about the product 
because I'm trying to get the $5 payout. Does that make sense? I'm not gonna guarantee a video for free stuff. I won't do it. This isn't a sponsorship offer, but someone sent me an email saying, hi, I recently found your videos and I loved your work. I might subscribe soon. <laughs> Fingers crossed, guys, let's hope he subscribes. This one wasn't a scam, I just thought it was shady and shitty. Typically what happens with sponsorships is that I never talk to the brand directly. What happens is there's usually a go-between ad agency that reaches out to me specifically and then they're like, hey, this company would like to work with you. Are you willing for us to represent you and go from there? But there are also plenty of like online platforms that influencers can go and submit themselves for campaigns. And I got an email from one of those things saying, hey, this brand wants to work with you through this specific campaign on this site. Can you make an account on our website and submit yourself for this campaign because this is how they're doing the campaign. And then I went, submitted for it, and they said no <laughs> because the brand didn't actually want to work with me. It was the facilitator campaign company itself that was trying to grow its network and its connection with influencers. A different company added me to their email list as well, so every couple of weeks I get an email saying, hey, is trying to do an ad campaign fill out this form with all of your information and offers for videos and blah, 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 and we can maybe get you in that campaign. They're just trying to make themselves seem more legitimate with that brand. Another email from that short form video company. My favorite emails are definitely from ad agencies that don't know that I talk about certain companies. So they're like, hey, we'd love to set up an opportunity for you to collaborate with Raid Shadow Legends. Yeah, absolutely. Here's my details. Send it on over to them. Let me know what they say. It's been a month. I don't think I'm gonna hear back. For those of you who don't know, I quit my day job at the end of July. So I started out August being fully self-employed. It has now been over a month. I am now still fully self-employed. My brain has not exploded. Neither has my wallet caught fire. I feel I am adapting fairly well. Thing is, is that some people saw the title and the thumbnail and thought I was quitting YouTube, not my real day job. Sorry, really didn't mean to do that. But a bunch of companies reached out to me after that. And this is one of those companies. And this company, it's not really a scam, but it is a waste of time. And I have seen influencers, specifically TikTokers as of late, work with this company. And I don't think they should. There's not a lot of ways to monetize TikTok. And so I'm sure to them, some of them are going to think, oh, this is like an easy way for me to make a little extra cash, read you this email. First off, hi Swell Entertainment, love your YouTube channel. My name is Blank and I am one of the Blank Blank Influencer teams. If you are interested in a paid sponsorship, we would love for you to team up with us. We would like to offer you $300 per 10 videos to feature our Blank in the background. Blank brand link at the top in the description. Blank and brand visible throughout video. Brand mention for five out of 10 videos. We usually do three month contracts so so there is some stability between parties. We also are okay with you having other sponsorship. If you are serious and excited about partnering with Blank, we'd love to have you on the team. I can draft up a basic influencer agreement. For TikTok, sure, this is a more doable agreement, okay? And I'm not saying that TikTok is easy. I'm not saying that at all, okay? I'm saying that a max 60 second video is one thing versus a YouTube video, which is typically gonna be longer than a minute. Especially for someone like me, I talk like a squirrel on cocaine and I have a lot to say. My videos are always over 10 minutes. I understand the creator fun on TikTok sucks and I may do a full video on that alone, but God, this is not worth your time. TikTok, YouTube, anything, this deal is not worth your time, okay? And it may seem easy, like, oh, I'll just have it in the background. For someone like me, I sit in front of a door most of the time. They're also low key asking that in the video itself, I don't disclose that the video is sponsored by this brand, which is illegal. <laughs> don't agree to this, this is pathetic. You can't set that kind of standard for yourself or the industry. Last email we're gonna do, oh, I forgot that was there, fun. I wanted to do this email specifically because I'm sure some of you are thinking like Amanda, how do you know these are scams? You know, like, what about these are scams? Like, sure, they're only trying to talk to you through WhatsApp. Some of them can't even decide what the name of their company is. There is a possibility that there are this many VPNs out there. So like, how do you know that these are scams? Well, I did in fact 
answer one of these scam emails. Here the email is simply, hello, we would like to order ads on your channel. Can we discuss the details over WhatsApp? This was not the first email this person has sent to me from this company or the same email. The other ones were more detailed. They have now since been deleted because they were all in spam and spam de deletes after 30 days. But I responded to this when I said, hi, I would prefer email as I do not have WhatsApp, which I do, but you don't need to know that. What company are you with? And what were you interested in advertising in one of your videos? And then they got back to me and said, I am writing to you on behalf of the exciting gay company, Blank Games. Our new Blank Game will be available soon on Steam. Therefore, we would like to advertise our product on your channel in order to interest more buyers at the beginning of sales. Again, I looked up this game. It is a real game. We are ready to provide you with a demo version of the game. We are interested in the following types of advertising. One, short advertising integration, 15 to 30 seconds in the main video about our product. Short integration of advertising, at least 30 seconds in the main video with frames showing how you show the interface of our application. And two, a separate video, at least three minutes about our product and its review. Please let me know what you think about this. Prices may be negotiable. We are waiting for your reply. Hello, I do not do paid reviews for products or games, but I can possibly do a 30 to 90 second paid integration into another video if I like the game. How would you like to go about me getting access and playing the demo version if you are still interested? That's great, what about price? And I mentioned my price to you guys. I don't think you guys need to know what my price was at the time. Sounds good, just share your first impressions after playing. Payment occurs after you show us what you've done. Just send us the finished video in the mail. After watching your video, we will pay you and you can add it to the channel. So if all conditions are good for you, I will send you the newest version of the demo game. Hello, if you send over the demo, I can get back to you with my opinions and if I would like to move forward with the sponsorship. If we decide to move forward, I will need for us to have a signed agreement so I know everything is legitimate on both of our ends before I move forward with doing the ad read in a video. It's available only for Windows now. There is the last version of the demo game and then the link to the game. It was a Google Drive link and then a download once you got to the Google Drive. Let me know when you install it. And then I didn't reply. And then they said, hello. And I said, I do not have Windows. Have a good day and then they never replied again. <laughs> the red flag here, if you missed it, there was no talk of an agreement. An agreement is not always going to protect you, but it you should have one because that's your proof that there was an agreement. The email is something, yes, but you know, you should have an agreement. Not just the fact that you were getting paid. There are certain requirements that are agreed upon with sponsorship. Sometimes getting a specific number of views on a video, specifically what amount you are going to be paid, your agreed upon rate needs to be in the agreement. And also recently, my new requirement for these is that I now require that there needs to be a timeline for when I will be paid after the video goes up because I recently almost fucked myself over and had to spend three days harassing an agency to make sure I got paid. I got my money, but it was unnecessary for me to do that to myself. All I needed to do was when I was discussing the agreement before I signed it, say, hey, I want something added saying that I'm gonna be paid in X amount of days after the video goes up. Now my agreements have that, but oh my God, was that annoying. But you need an agreement not only to protect yourself, but also just to make sure that they can't be like, hey, actually we wanted this. Like if it's not in the agreement, then that's not what's going to happen. I'm gonna end this video here because I need to go change the bandaid on my nose and I need to go make sure that all of our windows are closed. So smoke and ash does not come inside our home. Do you get bad emails? Are you a creator? What's a dumb offer that you've gotten? Are you even just a small business owner or just anyone who makes content? Are you like an independent creator or anything like that, that you've gotten bad offers sent to your email? Let me know, comment down below. Shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much for supporting my Patreon. If you'd also like to support my Patreon, link listed down below. If you'd like to follow me on all my social media, that'll be up here. And that's gonna be it. Have a lovely day. Don't respond to scam emails. Goodbye. Side note, just so no one's concerned. Even the doctor herself said that like, they just did the biopsy, just to be sure. They're fairly certain it's just a cyst or something. It's just a precaution. It's probably nothing. Thank you, Alan, Elise, Cameron, Christopher, Chris, Cody, Colton, Crash, PC, David, Don, Elliot, Aaron, Essen, Evan, Exo, Feckless, Hopeless, Jason, John, M, Jonathan, Jordan, Joseph, Kenny, Kevin, Kim, Kristen, Lee, Lisa, Manga, Matt, Matthew, S, Meme, Lord, Red, Michael, Michael, Jane, Nathaniel, Pat, Prowlock, Rob, Robert, Ross, Sam, Simon, Stefan, Tasha, Timothy, Tom, Wayne, Wendy, William, Zendry.